And I guess it's a nice touch. I'm, I'm going to guess that the left and right are going to come back together. You know, whether you do go either way, because we've turned away from the creek now. And, uh, you know, the blue markers are on the trees. And so maybe this is going to wind right back. And if I do connect up with the trail going off to the right, I'm going to I'm going to say that was that was the right fork back there. Uh, but you can see we're coming up and uh, this is nice. I mean, you're hiking basically by a creek and uh, you know, the left turn is definitely going to probably be more up and down than than the right turn because I'm, I'm I got a feeling at some point I'm going to have to hike up that to get back on the the main trail again. So this is probably just a little loop that you could do if you wanted to. My, my guess, my guess. I, I don't don't hold me to that. You know, I mean, I I don't know, but uh, it is very pretty here. Look at all the uh, the green coming in. Nice time of the year to be uh, be hiking here in North Carolina. You know, you, that's why I'm taking advantage of it. As, well, I did. I took advantage of it as much as I could. I, my body's giving out at this point. But uh, all right, so let's uh, let's enjoy. Look at what look at the scenery. Isn't that awesome? I mean, man, with the leaves on the trees now, you know, I've been been hiking in the winter up in Virginia, and of course, I bet Liberty Mountain it's going to be coming in. We're going to get another. Oh, let's promote the new, the next hikes. You know, might as well do that, so I don't forget about it. But while wow, we got some really good scenery, I like like the look of this. But, uh, so you know, I've and I've said it in previous videos. I'm going to do one more hike on Liberty Mountain because I got to see my mom one last time before I go back to Florida. Uh, I'll be back uh, to visit her from time to time a lot more often now that I'm divorced and uh, I really don't have well I don't have a job yet in Florida um, I'm gonna try to find one I was thinking about doing like a door dash that way you know I can just leave it leave the, the delivery behind hell I could even like you know think about it is if I drove to Lynchburg Virginia I could I could just clock in and deliver stuff in Lynchburg Virginia while I'm visiting my mother probably next month and, uh, and that, you know, that, that would be a very flexible uh, business to be in. It's just they don't, they kind of abuse the drivers and you're gonna put a lot of, a lot of wear and tear on your car. And they, you know, it's, it, sometimes I question whether it's worth it or not, but people, people seem to think it's okay. I mean, you know, to make some money. See how, see what I'm talking about with the trail? I mean, look at, this is, this is not easy hiking, you know. Uh, you, you would want a walking stick for this, I mean. I didn't I didn't think it would get kind of crazy you could slip right here so uh, so that's uh, that's one we're gonna go out to um, uh, geez uh, sweet rock college there's a trail there I want to get in we'll get that hike in that's it for the the hike and I might do a uh, well no there's of course when I get back to Florida I got to go to the Toyota dealer and get the oil change because I put so many miles on the car and uh, and then they'll uh, there's a seven mile trail there we're gonna do in Florida before it gets to be summertime because once the rainy season gets here that trail's unhikeable and I've been trying to get it in for almost a year now well half a year at least so I got to get that in right away as soon as I get back to Florida so that'll be that's three more hikes that we're gonna get in uh, within the next couple of weeks and then uh, uh, of course I've I got to put in two cameras at my mom's house so I might do a, a a quick video on Simply Safe, but really, what I think, I, you know, all I can tell you about Simply Safe security system is, uh, you know, and I, I don't consider myself a dummy, although a lot of people do <laughs> consider me a dummy. That is, but uh, I couldn't figure the directions. I mean, you can go online and read about it, and watch. There might be some YouTube videos on it. I, I don't recall if I looked for any or not, but I had to call Simply Safe and get their their support on the line. And we tried all kinds of things trying to get that thing in. No way I could have figured it out on my own. And so I think, and, they, and by the way, the support was fantastic. You know, the, the guy, he hung on the phone with me quite some time because everything he was telling me to do wasn't working. Well, I guess, uh, well, when I get to that Simply Safe video, I'll talk about some of the problems that we ran into and things that you might want to do. Probably be a, a short video because I, I don't remember, you know, my memory is such, I, I can't remember all the things that we did to, to get everything working. But uh, I recall some of it. I'm not gonna talk about it on a hiking video. Okay, that's, uh, that's enough to, for talk for a minute. Whew, feeling it, see, see the look at trail? This is, uh, it's not a, you know, gotta have a walking stick. Daggone it, I could have turned around, but I was already about a quarter, half, half mile into the hike before I realized that, hey, you know what? Should have had that walking stick. 
All right, but you see how this, it is beautiful. All right. So this is kind of different with these uh, kind of uh, light brown leaves. This red, of course, the, the pine needles. Uh, anyway, I, I always like to give a little news that uh, that Smurf uh, midget idiot uh, Fachi actually said there's natural immunity uh, from uh, COVID today or maybe not today but they're talking about it on the radio you know i think we uh if you got a brain cell in your head you knew that the, anybody who's had covid has got natural immunity but you know but you know when a when a smurf midget idiot making five hundred thousand dollars a year tells you there's actually natural immunity maybe a maybe a democrat might believe that you never know i, I don't know because <laughs> they do they do pay attention to fachi so he did say it now not me. I'm just I'm just saying what Fachi said. All right, you guys have a good one. So I want to get a look back. Uh, we're just coming off of the trail. If if um, if I'm interpreting things correctly, uh, and I don't know where that right fork in the trail went. I mean, who knows? Uh, but the left fork is taking me to the road up here, and uh, I'm gonna hike down this road to see if we can get to Reddy Lake, and that's gonna be it for me for the day. I'm turning back. We're not gonna finish this trail. I, I am just wiped out. So let's see what, uh, I think I see a sign up here that says, yeah, this is a, so the left fork is the Lobo, Lobo Leaf or Lobby Trail here, or whatever it's called, um, from the sign. Let's get the signs up here, hold on. All right, so it's it's the Lob Lolly. <laughs> I couldn't remember the name, how to pronounce that. Lob Lolly Trail. So uh, I, I think this is the road to the lake. Let's take a look here. All right, so, okay, we are here. Looks like, yeah, I'm looking at it. Doesn't say what the, looks like it's gonna go to the lake, I think. All right, let's hike on down here. At least it's a body of water. It doesn't even say what it is. All right, let's go. Okay, so uh, just wanted to get a sign on here. A forest in bloom. Spring is a transformation and beautiful time of the year. Imagine that. Uh, be amongst the budding trees and their flowers in the forest. Boy, they could put that in a different colored ink, couldn't they? That's hard for me to read. Each pollinated flower will yield seeds, blah, blah, blah. Each, every tree species around you has a distinctive and beautiful flower that attracts uh, pollinator species, including birds, bees, if we don't kill all the bees first. Uh, and then I'm not even gonna to try to read uh, flowering dogwood, the sourwood, of course, I, I don't know what, that's Latin underneath it, mountain laurel and the tulip polar. Okay, so I probably won't be taking much video till we get to the lake. I'm glad to be on a road, just taking it easy. Uh, Cause I gotta hike that trail back. And uh, I, you know, unless I see something uh, unique, uh, the next video will be just of the lake. Well, I did verify that I am heading to a lake. I guess there's actually two lakes. Uh, there's one coming up. She showed a short distance while well, she's on a bicycle. <laughs> I imagine it is a short distance on a bicycle. I thought this was kind of a unique look. I just wanted to get you looking down the hill. I, if I'm going down, you know you're going to come to water eventually. So, uh, so we'll probably be there in a while. Um, I, I thought about, you know, uh, since we're not going to do the rest of the Lob Lolly Trail, you know, I figure what we'll do is uh, I'm going to hike back to where we had that fork in the trail and I took the left fork. Uh, let's go down, I mean, I, I mean I'm tired, but it, you know, I'll give it a try. Let's go, I'm gonna go down that right fork for maybe a quarter to half a mile just to see what it looks like. Uh, and uh, I, of course, I'm not gonna hike it to the end and, and, and just show you a little bit of that. So if you did wanna take the right fork, um, who knows, you know, you just get a taste of it and you can make, your, make up your mind if you ever do this trail. But uh, anyway, let's, uh, we'll be at the lake soon, I hope. Okay, let's get this on the, the video. So I have come, this is our Reddy Creek, Creek Lake Road. And as you can see, here's the lake. And then if you continue straight, we'll get the, the map on the uh, video here in just a second. This is Reddy Creek, I don't know what B slash B, I guess it's trail going that way. So let's get on down to the lake. Uh, here's what's behind the lake. Um, and here's the dam. Oh, there's a chair. You better believe I'm going to take advantage of that. I'm going to sit there for a minute. Okay, good. And then we'll get the map on the kickback here in just a second. And I'm, I'm glad them wasps are on the inside of this rather than on the outside. <laughs> Look at, oh, there's the wasp nest right there. Holy moly. 
I don't, man, they're crawling all around in there. I don't, don't hope, hope they don't make their way out. So anyway, we came, there's the Reddy Creek entrance and uh, we came down the trail. Okay, we walked down this road and we're here at the lake. Now, I'm assuming, well, it's hard to tell. Well, look at here, look, I don't know, I'm confused. And I don't see another lake out this way. I don't know what that woman was talking about. Oh well. But uh, I am going to walk over to this little bridge and let's get a view from that. I was hoping this was a dock you could walk out on, but uh, obviously you can't. I guess it's for for the uh, the place. And uh, I, I tell you, I'm not sure that's wide enough for a car. I, I Well, I guess it is. Let's walk over there and get a view and then I'm coming back to avail myself of that chair. But let's get a view of the lake. Let's, I'm going to just take it nice and slow. So here's the lake from a little different angle. Boy, I bet there's some good fishing back in there. But, uh, and then this is kind of, I guess the overflow for the lake, a little, uh, and then it comes over to right here and continues on down that way. I swear it looks like that water's flowing. Maybe the water's getting underneath here somehow. I don't know. Or maybe that's just stagnant water. Huh. Let's get up on the bridge, take a look. From up here boy you know if you wanted to just get a hike in you know after after hiking that wonder where that road goes you know i'm always curious about these things but here's kind of what it looks like on the bridge here and let's get the other side and that'll be uh that'll be it till we get back to the uh to the fork in the road check out the plane flying over so uh so we'll take a little bit of that fork and that'll be it for the video unless I uh, see something on the way back that uh, and as I always do see something maybe we'll get some wildlife that you know there's one thing today kind of weird yeah uh, you think hiking through those woods I would have seen I didn't even see many squirrels you know all I saw was um, or birds no deer nothing really no, not much wildlife at all on this uh, on this hike I'm surprised because uh, we were you know we were in the forest so Let's, uh, I'm going to rest and, and then head back out. Of course, now I got to, it's up most of the way back, unfortunately. Just wanted to get a brief clip. A lot of bicycles on this road. So if you live in Cary or Raleigh area, or if you're visiting and you can rent a bicycle or bring a bicycle, uh, I don't know how you get here, but uh, these uh, roads here in, the, in, in this park, uh, a lot of people do them. So while I'm on my way back, you know, I always love to, to meet people and, uh, and, you know, and learn about them just a little bit. And I just met two, two people. One of them is 70 years old and the other one is 69. He was in the forestry. So I guess, you know, he's got a great appreciation for the forest like, like I do. And I mean, but think about that. They're going to do the whole, they're going to do the whole gamut. They're doing 6.2 miles, man. I hope to goodness gracious when I'm 70 years old that I can hike 6.2 miles because you you've heard me whining today uh how you know I'm turning back uh, at what well, I don't can't remember exactly where how far that road was or how far I hiked down the road you know um and uh and here I am I'm I'm you know I don't want to give my age but I'm a lot younger than that so let's just say I, I just that's not, that's phenomenal. Uh, you know, one other thing I wanted to comment on, and granted, it's 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 early in the year, uh, but you noticed that uh, we've only been out in the woods a bit here in Cary, not a single spider web. You know, uh, now I don't know if that's true in the summertime. Maybe the spiders come out, but these are kind of well-traveled trails. Uh, so who knows? Maybe they were here earlier, and since I got here later in the day, somebody knocked them down. But uh, that's one thing I have enjoyed. I haven't had a banana spider in my face or, or have to wave a stick in front of me like you do in Florida. So uh, there is that aspect and no, I haven't seen a single snake. Not, not that they're not out here somewhere, you know, that, that's for sure. Uh, lots of snakes in Florida. So, um, but anyway, I had to tell that story about those two old people on the way, way back to that fork in the trail. I, I imagine that, man. I, 
I thought maybe they had come, because I've seen that, you know, I thought maybe they'd come from the road back there and just hiked a ways down in here and then hiked back. No, they came all the way from the parking lot uh, where I started, at, you know, where the video started, and hiked, they're going to hike the whole doggone thing. So, man, I tell you, hats off, hats off. And that's what you got to do. You know, that's where I faulted my mom. You know, you got to plow through life. You just got to get out and do it, people. Get out and do it. So on the way back, I thought this was cute. So, you know, we are crossing the creek, but look here. Somebody made a little bench. Uh, I, I don't know if it was the, the crew, but uh, so they, a makeshift bench with the, just a couple of logs. And uh, well, I guess it's probably the trail crew because, you know, they, they've obviously been cut. So anyway, that was pretty, I thought that was unique. All right. Boy, the things I do for y'all on these videos, and me too, I watch them again. Sometimes just to look back on a rainy day and enjoy one of my videos. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? I had to hike down, hike down the mountain. <laughs> now, I gotta, now I gotta hike back up. But I thought, you know, let's get a view of the, of the creek here. Boy, I almost feel like taking the shoes off because my feet are on fire. Getting in that nice cold water and, but then I gotta dry my feet off and, or wait till they dry off, I don't know. But wonder, hey, wonder what that was back there. It looks like some sort of a structure that was there once upon a time. Huh. But a nice view of the uh, creek. Yeah, I'm looking at it. I don't see no fish swimming around, but I'm sure th there's got to be some in there. You know, some perch or something. I, I'm going to stand here a minute and see if I see any. All right. Peace out. So I'm looking down from above here on the way back. And, uh, you know, we crossed the creek dip back here somewhere in the little, that little creek. I don't know if I had to cross that trail, but you can see there's another trail down here by the creek that you could hike. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming this, we must have crossed it, I just didn't notice it. Uh, so you could really hike around here back here on unmarked trails also for, for a while if you wanted to. But uh, you see from the blue mark, we're still on the trail. Just wanted to point that out. I don't know how this is possible, but somehow I, I stayed on the trail and I missed that fork in the trail, unless I'm mistaken, because I know I thought we came across this this sign here, Loblolly Trail, before we came to the fork in the trail. I could be wrong. I don't even know how how I missed it. Maybe I'm just in a daze or something, I, which is definitely impossible. Um, hey, I just wanted to uh, give a brief talk. Uh, you know, there's one billionaire that I tell you, I, I, I just, I mean, if you ever, there's a book called Battlefield Earth. Okay, it's a, man, I tell you what, it's a hell of a book. It's about a thousand, ten pages. L. Ron Hubbard, man, he could churn out some writing. Now, I know Scientology, Scientology, oh my gosh, you know, it, it was, a, man, I tell you, it was one of the greatest books I've ever read. I mean, man, it just, it just was nonstop. Of course, they made a movie and the movie sucked. You can't, you can't make a movie about a thousand ten page book, you know, and, and do it in an hour. And, you know, of course, it, it was just, it was the dumbest movie I've ever seen. But anyway, um, so what I wanted to say, you know, read that book because there's a character in there. And I, he reminds me, that character reminds me of Elon Musk. Yes, that's who I'm talking about. Elon Musk. Think of the brilliance of that guy. You know, I give you just a little background if you don't already know it. You know, he, he had a company, PayPal. Probably heard of that now. And uh, he made he made some good money. Enough to retire a hundred times over. Probably buy an island and uh, drink pina coladas the rest of his life. But instead, he took that money, almost went bankrupt and created Tesla. Okay. Yeah, unknown science. Uh, you know, spent every, almost every penny he had. He was he was destitute, and uh, but of course Tesla started taking off, and uh, it didn't make a profit for for, for you know for his first few I don't know how many years it, it didn't make a profit, and then finally it started turning a profit, and then once he started making good money again, and he banked it, got another billion or so or whatever it was, and then he turns around and creates SpaceX. And you think, ah, dang, how successful is space? I mean, think about it. It took NASA millions, maybe a trillion dollars, you know, to put a doggone rocket in the air. And, and Elon Musk does it for hundreds of millions, you know. I mean, and, and does it a hell of a lot faster than NASA could, you know. And so, you know, because he, he got probably hired the right people. You know, goes out and finds the best. Plus, he's not constrained with all the federal bureaucracy, other than I'm sure that they're in there 
you know, trying to insert themselves in, into his business because they can't stand the thought of a private uh, businessman being more successful than, than uh, NASA would be. But that's just me. So then what does he do? He turns around and because uh, he's a free speech advocate, you know, and uh, and uh, you know, that's another thing I like about him. He's pro First Amendment, you know, unlike the Democrats. They hate free speech. Can't stand it when somebody speaks their mind. But anyway, so he uh, he bought up Twitter. Now you think, well, you know, is that going to be a good investment? Remains to be seen, but think about it. He, he the money that he spent buying 10 percent stake, about 10 percent in Twitter, he made it at all back within a couple of days. So he's really, I mean, at this point, if he's sold right now, he's made another couple billion dollars. I, because, you know, because I think he invested too, so if he made the money back, so he just made two billion dollars. Boom! I mean, and, and think of how brilliant that is. You know, you've got uh, Betos, or Bezos, and other people, but you know, they're not free speech. I don't, I don't think it would have worked for another billionaire like a Warren Buffett or anything like that, because they haven't been vocal about free speech and the anyway walking stick comes in handy see that sloped rock right there now i was more worried about the one with the, the algae on it but you can see it's pretty it's drying out what i didn't think about was having sand on the bottom of my shoes i hit that rock man i slid all the way down i i almost bit the dust man and, and i had both hands full because i was putting another battery in the camera that's one thing i have will tell gopro uh you should uh, like start beeping or something when when the battery's going dead so that you know that you know because i was making another clip on the video i don't even well, who i could have missed a bunch of clips i don't know uh and uh so anyway i'll, I'll get back to doing uh the redo of what i think i gotta redo and uh, we'll get that in a minute okay this is around two on this clip whenever i make a talking clip about something that it I just want to talk about uh, I like to be on level ground or going downhill and that was uphill so anyway I, I was talking about the, the a billionaire that I respect the most uh, and and I just think is brilliant and if you didn't know the background uh, this individual I'm gonna see if you can figure out who I'm talking about he started a company called PayPal and uh, he made a, a ton of money let's just put it that way I don't know how much I couldn't give you a number and uh and he could have and then of course i think he sold paypal and uh and then he could have retired and to a you know pacific island or atlantic island or whatever bought his own island and you know, drank peter coladas the rest of his life and just called it a day but no no he took all that money and he invested it in a company called tesla now you know who i'm talking about <laughs> elon musk I tell you what, oh, and I was, it was in, in the other clip, I was, I'm going to see how much I can cut out because I like that one better. I was going to tell you that uh, he compares very favorably to a book by L. Ron Hubbard called Battlefield Earth. Now, I know the movie sucked. Don't judge a book by the movie. The, the book was that 1,010 pages, and they tried to make a movie about the whole book. If they'd done it as a trilogy, like uh, The Lord of the Rings, for example, that would have worked, you know. But uh, no, no, Hollywood thought they're going to make this movie. Uh, John Travolta, one of his worst movies, as a matter of fact. And uh, But anyway, read that book, and the main character in that book, if he doesn't remind you of Elon Musk, I, I don't know what would. Anyway, so... Uh, so then, you know, he, I don't know if you knew, but Elon almost bankrupted with uh, with uh, Tesla. Uh, actually, was I mean, he was he was on the verge of total annihilation as far as financially goes. Well, we got a helicopter flying over. How you doing? Got a passing a guy right there. And uh, so, I mean, just think about that. I mean, you know, you can retire comfortably with millions and or billions of dollars and, and and instead you turn around and try to start a electric car company going against gm ford and chrysler i mean that takes a, that takes a lot of pardon my french balls man that's that those are big balls remember the acdc zone i've got big balls anyway so um then you know after tesla started making well you know for years it didn't make money even when he was making cars probably didn't know that so he, but finally, you know, obviously it's turning a huge profit now. So then he took that money and built SpaceX. And of course, we know the history of SpaceX. But think about that. You know, NASA spends a trillion dollars. Elon Musk spends a couple hundred million 
and, and does what NASA can do, can't do in, in, in probably a quarter of the time or even less. I mean, that's just, and that's what brilliance and, and private business is all about. You know, the, he didn't face, well, I'm sure he's got a bunch of government bureaucrats running around, you know, slowing him down. But uh, anyway, I think it's, it just shows you the genius of the guy. So then what does he do? <laughs> and you know where I'm going, you know, he buys uh, Twitter. And you say, well, that, that could turn good or bad. True. But think about it. He could have just bought Twitter. Then, you know, if he, did, if he was just all about money, because he made, he made the money back. I think, what was it they said? To like two billion that he put in to the stock or something like that. And then he's already made the money back because the stock went up like 25% or something like that. And uh, so he's already made his money back. So he could have just turned around and sold, boom, a nice $2 billion profit. Now to you and me, those numbers, they just, they don't even make sense. I mean, I, I, I know people that think they're rich with $100,000. You know, divide 100 into 2 billion. 100,000. See how many times that can, that works out. I, I can't, my brain don't work that way. I can't just crunch numbers, you know, right, right, right you know, without a calculator. So, uh, but no, now he's taking a seat on the board of Twitter. Now, is he going to, is, is he going to change things? I don't know. I, I mean, how much is a, is a one seat on a board? Can you change a company? I mean, because we've already know that the, uh, the CEO and Democrats are all against free speech. If they could do away with the First Amendment, they would. You know, most certainly, they can't stand free speech. If you're a Democrat, I know you, you hate it. You hate the fact of Trump's mean tweets. Ooh, they were terrible. But uh, and that's called free speech, people. So I'm just I'm just using Trump as an example. They've been banning you know people all over the place on Twitter, including some liberals who will speak their minds and say the wrong thing. And in the other clip, I, I said a few things that get banned right away. Uh, and so, uh, I mean, I just, I just can't believe it. So, wouldn't it be cool if he turns that thing around? I mean, he could always buy it and take it private if he wanted to. I, I don't know. Who knows? Maybe that's where he's heading at some point. But uh, I'm hoping that uh, we're going to get, you know, at least maybe we'll get some disclosure about the algorithms and how Twitter. Uh, wow, there's a lot of people out here. Uh, shadow bands. Uh, people and everything else so anyway i'm gonna do the mantra because i don't think it went through on the last clip freedom oh freedom good to live in the free state of florida where we have no vaccine mandates no mask requirements and we are free to come and do as we please under the great leadership of governor DeSantis. and if you're a democrat move to california move to new york illinois would be a good place for you maybe minnesota uh, I, but the place I, I want to recommend the most is Southern California. Okay, Southern California. That'd probably be the best place for you. It's actually very nice, very, very nice weather, but you do have a million people that are going to be crossing the border and probably living, you know, uh, going through your backyard and everything. A lot of those will be uh, drug cartel members, uh, have rapists, probably a few murderers. Uh, so uh, you'll fit right in there. You know, be sure and shake hands with them. And because, uh, you know, you're all for, uh, as a Democrat, you're all for open borders. We all know that. So, uh, uh, you know, that's that's good. So, you know, be sure I give them lots of food and water. I mean, try to feed that million people that uh, and, you know, be sure and bring them in for some health care and, and that sort of thing. All right. Peace out. Stay free. Oh, there he goes. See, so yesterday we were at, uh, I don't know, I can't remember the name of the park. It's all a blur at this point, I'm so doggone tired. But this is all they need. Please pardon our smoke. Ecological restoration in progress. Okay, you didn't need to close the doggone trails. I walked those trails, you saw it on the video. There was nothing wrong with those trails. I don't know, it doesn't make sense to me. So if you're watching any of my videos, you're probably a hiking enthusiast like I am and uh, as you come out just as you come out the park uh, just on your right you'll see a, a McDonald's and this is Kerry so they don't have a big sign or anything there is a sign right up here but this is Bass Pro uh, Shops and uh, I'm gonna avail myself of this and see if I can find a new pair of hiking shoes and uh, but I just thought I'd point that out because it's so convenient coming out of the park after a long day of hiking there you go